Oh, shalom. <laughs> shalom. No, hala. Hala, hala, hala. Oh, um. <laughs> Your hair looks nice today. Thank you. Shower. Do you like it? I like it, actually. Okay, Not so if we are recording right now, I'm just going to be a total jokester and say, so everyone, Rachel and I are now both hooked up with their audio, but we're still testing out my microphone because I think my, si her, the, my hair microphone sister is defective. So we're going to test it out. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's have a tutorial. Okay. So, so you put so, the thing. The thing in the thing. Thing, like should work and then the other thing gets put on your ears and then blah 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 okay that, well let's try just like this does this work okay so what did you do from yesterday you just you just <laughs> i just turned my computer off and then i reached and i turned it back on yeah and do you know what people tell you well when something's not working have you tried turning it off and turning it back on <laughs> right and did that make a difference it does make a difference actually Okay, now I'm going to go grab my headphones, and I, I'm going to plug them in. You sound great, so... Oh, so I, don't worry about it then. You sound great, but, you know, we'll see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still hear me even though my, I'm facing my laptop and my, the mic is off to the side? Like, does it pick up my voice okay? It does. I mean, it picks up your voice a bit better if it's a little closer. Okay, so I'm going to move... <clears throat> <laughs> okay, if someone's listening to this, they're very confusing. Apparently, our tutorials are about putting things in things and then making squeaky chair noises. And then, then, <laughs> so how's that? Good? Yes, good. Oh my god, we figured it out. Well, I hope so, but don't jinx it. No, but what? It, but for our viewers and listeners, I, just, so, just I'm like, little, 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 I'm just gonna like oh, talk over top of you the whole time. No, exactly. But for our viewers and listeners, I'm a very complex thinker. So for me, I always think of all the other ways to figure out a solution to something that maybe the average person would not even think. Oh, that's an option to figure a solution out to. Mm -hmm. So case in point, I was at my job the other day trying to open up the cash till, and it wasn't opening up, and I couldn't figure out why. So I look at the printer and for some reason, the printer has to be connected for the till to open. I don't know why <laughs> Shopify operates like that, but it does. So when I did, um, I'm like, okay, this, tap this thing, go into the menus, tap the other thingy, do all this stuff, restart, reboot, boom. My manager comes in she's like, I tell her what's going on. She's like, hmm, let me pull out for a sec. Pops the top of him. Hero, it does have paper in it. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Well, I, I, I think a simple, I, not simple, I don't think simply, I think a similar way. And yeah. I think sometimes that's an anxiety mindset or a busy, a busy monkey mindset. Um, and then my Chinese zodiac is a monkey, so I'm a little shit. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, so yeah, are you going to get your headphones? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Just getting right back, right back to it. Now I'm going to do what Hero did on one episode where I, um, I froze, I think in the beginning in the first episode. And when I played it back, all I saw and heard was he went like this. Do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Quite cute. But you're back. I am back. Um, come on. I thought that was good improvisation. It was. It was really cute, actually. Um, Great. hold on. So, very first me... episode, it was very raw. Yes. You put the thing in the thing. You got your headphones. You put the thing in the thing. You turn them on. Yeah. You put, yeah. You got to plug it in first. Yep. Plug it in, plug it in. You need new headphones, man. Look at those headphones. I've had them for like three years and I replaced the pads. They look trashed, but you wear them like every single day. Every I single day. Yeah. Every single day. Okay, can, does that make a difference? Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Can you then hear great. me any better? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not about... <laughs> when you put your headphones in, it's not really about me hearing you any better. Because yeah. it's, it's you hearing me. There's no microphone. <laughs> oh. 
it's more about like you can hear me better and hopefully like you know if there's any little issues it's actually better when you've got your headphones on which especially for me who's the host I can that's why before I could hear like the pops and the cracks and all those things probably better than you could so yeah this is way better yeah I feel like I can hear myself just like um yeah Yeah. well that's nice okay (laughs) we're getting totally well, we've got a few minutes here, but a bit off. No, exactly. So do you want to tell us about our special? So welcome to our first, um, what should we call it? Um, getting getting juicy. Producty. No, that doesn't make any sense. No. Get, okay. get, 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 how about getting a case of the Menchies? Oh, that's cute. You're so good at coming up with these things so quickly. Welcome to getting case getting a case of the Menchies. Getting a case of the Menchies and... Well, for those, and I think actually the first thing we should say is the reason why we say Menchies instead of Munchies, and it's not Menchies yeah. ice cream place, right? Because that's the soft serve ice cream place. Although a Jew did create Menchies. Ah, okay. That makes, of course. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. So the word Mench actually means a person with integrity and honor. So that's what the word mensch means. It's not a dirty word. I was telling somebody the word mensch the other day and I was like, it's not minge. No. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not dirty. It's a, it's a good word. <laughs> it's, you want to be called a mensch. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Um, anyway, um, mensch is due to, can you see this little fellow behind me? And if you're watching on YouTube between my shoulder, I came to this position in my kitchen because there's a little ledge. And there's a little man sit. Oh my God. I could put him like on my shoulder. You could totally put him on your shoulder. It's perfect. But <laughs> Sitting on my shoulder, little man sitting on my shoulder. And this is my mensch. So, um, <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. Mensch. He's, he's hot. Tickle his beard. Did, 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 did. Okay. So mensch, mensch on a bench. He's not actually sitting on a bench, he's sitting on a ledge, but this product, Mench on a Bench, and I'll bring him out, and it's maybe when we talk to Neil, the creator of Mench on the Bench, because when you press his little hand, he says things, he teaches, which is super cute, kids and myself, because I'm Jewish, about Yiddish words, what they mean, Happy Hanukkah. And so his whole thing was, it was a um, response to Elf on the Shelf. So... Elf on the Shelf, I don't know how long it's been around, but it's been around for a little while. And it's a similar type product, which I actually don't know if it says anything, to be honest. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I think it's a little stuffed elf that kind of like makes his way or her way or their way around the kitchen, around the house when (laughs) I'm trying to be correct here. Um, It's a, yeah, it's like a little, a little stuffy, I guess, for kids around the holiday. Um. And he, uh, Neil has a couple of children and his response to that, because I think what I read, not I think, I know what I read is that one of his little guys asked for, and, and Neil's Jewish, asked for an elf on the shelf a f- couple of years uh. ago. And so um, I, I really want to hear more of this story from Neil himself, because he has a very colorful, interesting background in working with kids' toys um, with like, I think I read something about G.I. Joe's and... Um, you know, he's worked with toys for a while. So this wasn't anything new to him. G.I. Ho? G.I. Ho's. G.I. Ho's and Joe's and bros and whatever. All the, you know, you knows. Um, yeah, so he'll be on our show soon. And <laughs> you're like, just like, you're happy. That's good. Do you feel more professional now with our equipment? Yeah, I do. And I feel really well. Re- yeah, just yes. Yeah, you're very shiny on your chin. You got the sun like right on your chin and your neck. No, I want to see <laughs> your beautiful face. Shana Poonam. Yeah, Poonam, that's another Yiddish word meaning face. Poonam might even mean, I think, as far as to go cute face or maybe something. Yeah, like. yeah, cute or like, like precious, like beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah. Sh- and Shana means beautiful. There you go. Shana. Shana Poonam. Right, Shana Poonam. which is why I I knew a Shana growing up, actually. Was she beautiful? She was very pretty, yes. And she was a gorgeous redhead. You're just saying that. No, she was <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, red, long red hair. Mm. I do remember that. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so Neil's going to hop on pretty soon. And we just, we wanted to specifically this episode kind of like sneak its way in fast here because it's Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah mm-hmm. coming up on December 10th is when Hanukkah starts for eight nights. And the other thing is, I kind of wanted to mention this, even though I haven't had any comments about this lately, but when we first started getting juicy, I had a friend of mine ask me or say to me that she was a bit intimidated listening because she thought you had to be Jewish to listen or that it was religious. Right. So I just want to, just because this, this episode, yes, it is fairly Jewish, but it's also teaching, educating all of us about some of these different, um, if you want to call them religions, customs, um, traditions, you know, those kinds of things. And you don't have to be Jewish to listen or to follow us. Like we're, it's, it's more just was a play on words for us because it's what we have in common too. Right. So I don't know here if you want to add to that really quickly before, before. Well, yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I know because a lot of the times, and we don't say it like in a negative way, but it's a very common term in our community about saying like, we're, we're bad, we're bad Jews. And we're a Jew or you're a Jew or using yeah. the Right. Yeah, exactly. Or like you're a bad Jew. And when I call myself a bad Jew, like, of course, if you're a goy, which means a non-Jew, you wouldn't call an actual Jew a bad Jew. But to our own people, we would call ourselves bad Jews when we were not observant or we're not aware of like when dates of holidays are. We forget about tradition, but we it's something you you would think we would know about. Um, and so like, I consider myself a quote unquote hashtag bad Jew, because like whenever says someone says happy new year to me, like Rosh Hashanah in September, whatever the hell it is. I'm like, it's not, but it's not even January yet. I'm like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> and that's kind of where I think we, we um, were humorous with each other and we, we feel like comfortable that we can do that. But my, my comment was more like towards if you had anything else to say about how, you don't have to be Jewish to listen to the podcast. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, not at all. Not yeah. at all. No. And also our, the reason why we call it a getting juicy, like if you want to know why the, what happened with the name, J- Rachel approached me and she's like, Hey, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. And I was like, well, you know, I've always wanted to have my own talk show or podcast, right? Something like that. Yeah. And so, but I didn't want to do any of the editing and technology and stuff. So then Rachel was like, well, I'll do that. And then you can help with the stuff that you actually are strong at. So then she was like, well, I think we call it like, like two Jewish best friends, like getting Jewy. And I'm like, I don't think we should use the term Jewy. It sounds a little bit, you know, weird, but, yeah. but I like where you're going. So then I was thinking about, okay, well. Oh, I said between two Jews. Between two Jews. Like, that's right. And like yes. that, that Galifianakis has between two ferns. Anyway. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So then, so then I was thinking like, well, you know what? Okay. I, I thought, what do our conversations as, as best friends really em, em, embody, even since we've met I'm trying to like get out of the sunlight here. But anyways, so I said, well, you know what? Okay. We're always spilling the tea. We're always getting into it. We're always uncensored and real and we are Jew, Jews. And so I actually was talking to Rachel about, I think I talked about this on our very first episode, but I wanted to have my own kosher jewish juice line called juice j-e-w-c-e and it would go around to all the synagogues when they have congregation and it would do it like beer on tap so then all the jews that are sitting can have their kosher juice you think about how many people would actually need to be um nourished or fed juice in all the synagogues worldwide you have a whole wholesale accounts for all the synagogues i think that's pretty freaking brilliant and then you can yeah. sell it in kosher delis and even other places that are want to be healthy so then i thought well i'm never going to use this this business plan anyways and if someone does then we'll, we'll fuck you so why don't we do this idea we can get juicy and that's how we got the name getting juicy and so that's actually what like we could do juicy like i talked about my own juice brand but we can j-e-w-c-y and it's like spilling the tea but with juice so getting juicy and maybe, maybe one day we'll have, uh, I don't know, maybe one day we'll, 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 well, we will have a website, that's for darn sure, and we'll hopefully have that going in the new year, but maybe we'll even have some product to sell, like, juicy juice boxes. I actually met someone yesterday at work who does promotional swag. I, I can't believe I forgot that already. I gotta, I've gotta, oh, yes, I gotta reach out to them. Okay, cool. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that off. I was gonna say off air because we're live, you know, on. (laughs) I feel like I am now with these headphones and all that. I know. So do I. Thanks. Yeah, it's, you know, we're we're stepping it up in the world. We We are. Hope. Um, And, you know, like I like we said, like, 
Hanukkah's coming up. And actually next week we have, um, just because of our podcasting, we thought we might as well like throw in some more <laughs> cultural <laughs> things, cultural things. Um, so next week we actually have the Hala Prince. Hala is Jewish bread. The Hala Prince has made his name quite, um, what am I trying to say? He's been quite quite out there, successful on Instagram, social media. He's got lots of followers and he's actually lives in Brazil. Does he say Brazil? Brazil. (laughs) Brazil. (laughs) Berlin. There's nothing but just coffee in this mug, I swear. Um, Berlin. And so that will be really fun. Uh, We look forward to hearing his story, his journey, um, how he, he became known for his hala. I mean, like, you know, he's, and he's, his photos are just stunning mm-hmm. on his Instagram page. They're like art. Mm-hmm. I know. It makes me wish I could really eat gluten. Well, no, but you can, we can, you got to try to make some gluten-free hella. My sister has. I, told, I haven't I gotten it yet. I know. And I, I don't know if she's even made it since the last time we spoke, but I was um, hoping, I know COVID and all that kind of stuff, I was hoping to do like a bake um, evening with my sister and, you know, make some hella myself have with gluten hers without and seeing like have a bake-off or something like that and let's do an episode about that and she can be a feature guest on it when we're you're in the kitchen right i thought that would be kind of fun too yeah yeah so yeah so the hollow prince is coming on next week um we have michael oh my gosh is it great crazy graziano i believe is his last name graziano i think yes him as mike because he was uh well, still is, but my high school sweetheart's mm. little brother. And Mike actually has become this, I want to say, like, world-famous traveler because, okay, now we're talking about something that's totally different than Neil, who's hopping on any second, but I just want to give you some excitement of what's coming up soon. He um, became the first Canadian, or dual citizenship, first Canadian and American under the age of 30 to travel to every single one of our UN nations and countries. Amazing. So he has some incredible stories and he created this company called global degree and all about getting your global degree, like your, your university, essentially education, traveling the world. And that's kind of your, your schooling is it's really cool. So he has, he has, he's actually like, I think he's writing for Forbes magazine now and he's, yeah, he's really made a name for himself. He's done a TED Talk. like So he's coming on next week. I'm super stoked about that, too. Yeah, I'm excited to meet the other thing. So a lot, a lot of very exciting stuff going on. And I am just looking at my emails for you folks to see if Neil has any issues joining our chat. Because we don't have him on yet. But I'm sure he'll be on any second. Um, it's just barely 9.30 a.m. here on a Sunday. Yep. We work on weekends. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Southern American, y'all. Sorry for clapping. That might be loud in your ear. <laughs> Man, I'm on fire this morning. I feel like. I know. I love it. You're matching up to my pace. I know. I know. What's going on? Look at What's that wrong? man. What's wrong? With- Mench on my shoulder. I know. I love it. It's like the good one. You need two of them. Mench on my shoulder. You need like two of them. You need like one on your left and one on your right. Actually, so Mench on my bench doesn't isn't just this dude he actually does um neil does like a booby oh he does is like grandmother in amazing yeah and so he does that he does like um oh my god the mitzvah moose moose <laughs> there's like a moose with i think like menorah candles or something oh my god i love that for the antlers yeah there's um so there's a few he's he's created a family now and there's a book i should mention yeah. So the book actually, and I, I really want to ask him, because I think the book kind of came either first or coincided. So he wrote a children's book that coincided or connected with Mr. Mensch on my shoulder, on the bench. So, so yeah. Good. Yeah. So yeah. So waiting for him to pop on, we're just going to go do, 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 do. And if you're still listening to this after almost 20 minutes of us bantering, then uh, congratulations. Congratulations, you've won. I would hope a mentor on a bench. <laughs> േ േ േേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേേ
sorry to interrupt, but like, just because you just said Bubby, I always said Bubby, not Booby, but Bubby is what we grew up with. Yeah, I think it's the same. I've heard both. Okay, so I was like, is that wrong? <laughs> no, I think it's semantics, maybe just however we heard it growing up. And then that's how we that's how we um, phrase Booby, it. Not Booby. Yeah, it's not Booby. No, no. No, but but on another note, I gotta say I loved how when you were with your friends last night in your outside patio and you were just texting me and asking me certain questions about female anatomy and if I would like if I like them or whatever, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Maybe, um, what did you say before about how we're you know best friends that like just are so well because you're talking about getting juicy and how we're just yeah. you know very open with each other all the time. Well, that's a perfect example. It is a great example. And I loved it. Rachel it's messages me outside. and she's like, and yeah. I have to say, I was outside socially distancing and with two friends and my husband, that was it. And we were talking about, I mean, what was the first thing I said to you? <laughs> I think you asked me if I like boobs. Yeah. And I was, that was not me asking. Cause I know you, it was my friend asking and we will not say who the friend is. Cause we're not into doing that. I don't like calling people out at all, but my friend asked that. And I was like, well, I mean, why? I mean, sure. You can, I guess you can, you can appreciate boobs maybe, but I, you know, just cause he's a man, he's gay though. Like, I mean, I mean, there's so many, uh, there's Fucking so Fucking flaming. Right. And it doesn't, I mean, and that doesn't even matter, actually. No, it doesn't. And so no, it doesn't matter. No, oh, there's so many gorgeous varieties of human beings is how I, I how I'll put it of a plethora of gorgeous varieties of humans. And so Mike, so the question was, if you liked boobs, and then we had a whole long conversation of some pretty, um, What's what do you want to how do you want to say? Pretty that? pretty outrageous and um and appropriate. Yes, yes, but the but the answer to that question actually, which I thought was hilarious and super cute, here says dead wrong. I'm actually terrified of breasts. <laughs> That's true. I am. Yeah, and I mean I shouldn't laugh, but it was just the cute. No, it's funny. And unexpected response, the terrified part, and then. Can I read your next comment? Oh, read as much as you want. I don't care. And I love because if like Neil, if Neil comes on and, you know, we talk about his product and we're like, yeah, so Neil, like our intro, <laughs> our intro yeah. Neil, we're talking about vaginas and breasts. Like, I don't even know. We might have to cut that out for what he's going to promote. <laughs> but this is what we do. So then we said, or you said, oh, I sent some laughing faces and you said vaginas are even worse and more terrifying. They're like infants. What the fuck do you do with them? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I just said, you're cracking us all up because we were just laughing. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the good laugh. You're welcome. Um, can, I, can I read the next? The read next? everything. I don't care. Okay, because the next part was even, he just kind of kept going and going. and It next, kept going, yeah. You could try to lure me to have anal with a woman if it was just her ass up. <laughs> I was, but I would still freak the fuck out and run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, what you, this is what you get when you leave us alone for a little too long. And maybe... We do need to have more episodes. That's just the two of us. And yeah, the, we do. The next part, I'm not going to say because it has to do with my husband. And <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that out of it. Her and husband is so hot, you guys. So hot. My God. He's like, I mean, yeah, I guess. We've been together for 13 years. I mean, you know, he is. He's attractive. <laughs> Goals. I wonder what does her husband look like? Mm -hmm. it's like the mensch on the bench that's what he looks like yeah and you know what i and i'm just like ignoring the rest of your comments but we <laughs> can't actually i don't think i can say the next part of it <laughs> so let's say that's where the conversation was last Going. and it went slightly further and then it retracted so anyway that was that was our conversation yes like a good little um speckle in my throat <clears> throat> I knew you were going to say something like that. And I was, I was waiting for a different 
phrase or word because of the, what happened in the next part of the conversation, <laughs> what might be in your throat. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so Hero, we might just have to chat with each other for a bit here. <laughs> Which is totally fine. I mean, look at how far we've gotten. I think we can be really successful independently. I might do, I'm going to pull the bench by the, by the legs here because we're still going to talk about him. Yeah. You know, the other thing though, everyone is Neil actually would be joining us from three hours ahead in the States. So you never know. I mean, like, I hope he's okay. Right. I don't know. You never, you just don't know. With you never people. know. He, and he's got a couple kids as well. Right. So, so, you know, it's, what is this now? Like just after 12, 1240 yeah. PM on a Sunday, mm -hmm. right. With kids mm -hmm. that most likely are not, you know, being cared for by anyone else, but their parents. So, you know, it's a weekend. So I get it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, no harm, no harm, no foul, but no, this so that again this is our mensch so cute. and now he's really gonna sit on my shoulder that's so cute so he's holding a little he's holding a little hanukkah candle it looks like right yeah yeah he's got a very soft beard he's very soft and pliable um but he's got a battery pack inside of him i don't know where the heck you oh there up his butt no just kidding <laughs> up his just above his bum, he's got a battery in there. So it does come with a battery, which is great because now I don't know. I, I put this on Instagram yesterday. I don't know if this is going to start at the beginning of what he says, but let's just, let's see. No, I will not teach you dirty words in Yiddish. Oy vey, yes, ah, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it just fine. Okay, good. So actually, that, what a perfect um, segue. Se segue because that's not what he says in the beginning he talks about mensch on the bench he talks about hanukkah but i like how the next thing we said i will not teach you dirty words in yiddish okay thanks thanks mister so there's a bunch of things that he says <laughs> okay hold on we'll do the next one chutzpah means nerve or guts it takes chutzpah to ask me that yeah so he's he's cute ready to learn more now you try Oive means my goodness Nosh is to snack on something. Oy vey, Murray, will you stop noshing before dinner? <laughs> so cute. Oh, he's got like, um, oh gosh, I didn't actually look at the, how many phrases, but there's quite a few. That's I want to say like at least 20. Let's hear the next one. Okay. Is it hot in here? I'm spitzing. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> Some of them are longer. Tuchus means backside. Zadie is a grandfather. Get your tuchas over here and hug your Z. Oh, Zadie. Oh, so cute. Oh, and no. they're all terms that I use. Oh, I miss my Zadie. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's, yeah, very, very cute. Very cute. So, um, and like I said, I don't have the book, so you can actually get him by himself or you can get him in a, in a box with the book as well and the book I actually gave my nephew so my nephew is not even two yet but I thought what a great little little mm -hmm. gift for the nephew and the nephew um is quite a mix of different things so he's you know my sister definitely came from a Jewish Jewish family um although my mom converted oh my god this is like now talking about the life story but my mom converted before both of us were born but my sister married um definitely a non-Jew and he comes more from like a Scottish background and stuff like that so anyway little nephew has some a, a nice little book and just things with like some family traditions and and words to learn and all that kind of good stuff so yeah so really cute so this guy um I think he was god how much did he cost for just him it was it was only like 25 bucks that's not bad I should check now now again that's U.S. though right. okay so it's it's U.S. but um it's and also um I think just because Hanukkah is coming up like I said on the 10th hopefully you could get it before Hanukkah that's kind of why we went to have this episode right now and hey maybe Neil's shipping product right now to lots of deserving families um that need their menches before Hanukkah <laughs> well mine hasn't arrived yet you ordered one no Oh, you little brat. <laughs> I'm a little shit. I said that. Because that's not, because like, 
Okay, I just I'm just looking at the shop because I want to be sure about this. Yeah. Of course, now my phone's being a dinkus or dingus. A shrinky dink. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So actually, I was wrong. It's only 19.99 for this that's guy. That's amazing. U.S. So honestly, like that's that's amazing because that would be I don't know the conversion, but I think it was maybe like it wasn't even 30 bucks Canadian. It was definitely under that. And then, you know, like I said, there's the bubby. Oh, the dancing bubby. So she dances and says stuff. That's cute. She's a little bit more in $24.99. There's a snow mensch. So like a snowman. Um, the breasts cost a little bit extra. What's that? Yeah, the dress? No, the breasts and the dress. <laughs> the mitzvah moose. Yeah, so super, super cute. Um, the mensch on a bench.com. Mensch is spelled M-E-N-S-C-H, F-Y-I. So, but anyway, we'll put that in the in the show notes afterwards. Um, yeah, and I mean, like, hopefully we'll uh, get maybe a comment from Neil or something like that on on social media. And you know, I just I like I mean, we haven't really done an episode before where we're promoting somebody's brand, have we? I mean, like their personal, like their their personal being brand. Yeah, yeah. but in terms of a product, like a product product that's from the person, I don't think we. No, have, no, no. So this is this was just kind of special because mm-hmm. again, time time of the year, all that kind. Yeah, of- I mean, I did basically give Vessi a nice product drop on our episode sixteen, but that was slightly unintentional and just happened to work that way. This is our first. This is our first intentional spotlight of a product that we exactly. think is really on brand with our podcast. Hey. Hey, 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 get the chair, get the chair, lift it up to the roof. J, J, J unit. Um, and then one more thing before I forget, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is we are doing eight nights of live, right? So eight nights of live because Hanukkah is eight nights and we will talk about why is Hanukkah eight nights so this is why our as this hair program god am I like that old-fashioned I'm on air our program um that's why we are we want to say that we really are not religious we want to teach people so we're teaching ourselves too so we're gonna talk during our eight nights alive tar- starting on December 10th 8 30 p.m maybe like 15 20 minutes of live like a short little schmeckling of live and we'll talk about different things about Hanukkah just so that we can get reacquainted with the story and like re-educate ourselves and educate everyone around us and, um, and just have some fun. And also first guest, we have one guest uh, in the beginning. It's the first night of live is with Spandy Andy, whom we had on the show. And I forget what episode that was, but you can check out that um, on YouTube or on our podcast platform, Spandy mm-hmm. Andy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything you want to add to that? Um, I just want to thank again, everyone that's tuned in and listened to us for everything so far. We are just pushing um, almost 20 episodes, which I think is a huge, huge feat. And um, we Such have a time. really Sorry. in a very short amount of time in a very short amount of time. Um, we wanted to make sure that we could really provide <clears throat> a platform of an archive for people to listen and get to know Rachel and I, but also the guests that we have. And honestly, most of the guests that we have had in our in our show so far have been from our personal network. And a couple have reached out to us or we might have reached out from our end to see if they'd be interested. And I think that's pretty amazing that we mm-hmm. have this kind of support. Because if this is a sign of what's happened so far, I actually, without being boastful, but just being humble, we have something going. I'm so- stuck. I'm so stoked and I can't like I just I can't wait you know it's been it's been a while like just with this year being so weird it's been a um and even prior to that it's been a while since um you know I've I've felt excited about a project where I feel like it could go somewhere and I'm excited about the future so that's I am too and to be able to do it with someone like you where I was something someone like you I was just like (laughs) because seriously all my good friends are leaving vancouver either they have left or they are leaving sometime in 2021 if not already 
even with the pandemic. And I'm like, you know what, guys, I'm so thrilled for you. I'm so excited that you are doing this because you know what? Part of me wishes that I could too. And it's not that I can't, but it's just not in my genetic makeup to do that. And I'm proud of where I am in my own city. And I'm a proud Vancouverite, but it's very challenging to keep feeling like there is that transitioning of letting people leave and go even though I'm so proud of them and they're not going away from me they're just fulfilling their destinies and that's great so it's just nice to have an example of where you stay connected with someone you're so connected with and you love so much and here's a perfect example of Mm -hmm. how connected we are even though we are so far away even if we're in the same um, province and in the same vicinity I agree I completely agree and it was it was sad because I, I felt like we really started to Oops, there he goes. <laughs> Fall off my shoulder. He really st- dumpty. Yeah, really start to get close just before I moved. Um, so this has been awesome. But, you know, Vancouver, yeah, I mean, that could be a whole other episode about Vancouver and how unbelievably unaffordable it is. Um, as and unfriendly. Old knows now, almost now. And I mean, unfriendly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's. I think you only really notice that when you step away from the city really because like when i when i moved to a smaller town in bc i i did really notice that but living in it was a bit different and now every time i go back down i'm like yeah no you're right i didn't notice it as much when i was in it and that tends to be what happens but then when you huh. go, when you go to a smaller town and you're like at the grocery store or something or you're i don't know anywhere like a complete stranger hi oh aren't those beautiful apples yeah how does it go? I'm like, sorry, what? You're talking, what? Do I know you? Like, get away from me. Like that. And that's the yeah. stuff. I think that's a larger city mentality, perhaps, Maybe. too. It could be. It totally could be, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's, I mean, it, and I guess like a, a slightly smaller town, you do get people that are, they're more proud of their community, of the small, like, it, it definitely has a more intimate vibe. And that's. Right. Right. For sure. Really? Whereas Vancouver has a huge ego of thinking that it's a really big city, but we call ourselves a, 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 a little big city. We are, yeah, yeah. We are a little big city. So, and also, and just to mention, Oh, just got another email just seeing. Oh yeah. I had a feeling. Um, so Neil, so yeah. Cause I don't want to throw him under the bus. Like, like I said, we don't know him. We just, we re actually, I, when I bought this, he asked if, we wanted to do an interview with him. I was like, yeah, of course, let's do it. So he just said, I'm so sorry. I lost track of time today when he was with his kids. And I figured it would be something like it's a Sunday. It's, you know, so we really tried to get him on. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to have time uh, between now and Hanukkah to have him on again. So, but at least, you know, I'm I'm happy that we were able to talk about his product. I I wish I'm happy to a bit more. Um, but you know, maybe he can add some stuff in our show notes or something like that. So totally. Anyway, yeah. So I'll, I'll write him back in a second here. But uh, no, what I was going to say is uh, speaking on Vancouver and Canada. Yeah. So I actually is I love having my phone here that I a news article that I just read. So this was just from November twenty sixth. So just a couple days ago. So Canada once again was ranked number one most desirable place to live Ooh. in the world. So, and then I think on that list, I bet Vancouver is still at the top of cities. So when you, when you think about that, it's like, you know, that just, as we get put on the map time and time again, which is great. I mean, it's humbling. It's, it's, it's uh, flattering. It's awesome, but. But it raises the the economical stress. Totally, totally. So, um, so this was, so just to cite what the study was or, or what the, what this who did this study it says um it's the most desirable or canada specifically the most desirable place to live in the on the planet according to new google search data really it wasn't like um you know a committee of people looking it was google search data so that's interesting huh. yeah that is interesting yeah so the new daddy were daddy <laughs> <laughs> the new daddy the new data has revealed um, where people from around the world want to relocate to the most. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah, so that's well, very, like the, 
Then, it's, like the, it's like the closest thing you'd have from to San Francisco, um, Portland, Seattle. But I would honestly say we're the most similar to San Francisco and we're not even close to be, being similar. But in terms of the vibe, the weather and climate, the energy, the kind of different neighborhoods that might have some differences of like culture. I'd like to say a little bit more like Portland. Okay. Perhaps. The I've, Pearl District in Portland is so similar to Yale Town. Like it looks exactly like Yale Town. Maybe a hybrid of the two, perhaps. Um, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing I'll just well, we'll say here is the quote. It just says, Canada is known because Canada is known for its friendly, speaking of friendly, friendly locals, beautiful scenery and well-paid job prospects. What? Right? <laughs> that's total bullshit. See, and that's what's interesting because... For people like us and like my husband, I moved from Vancouver because, you know, the, the well-paid job prospects, I and mean, you got to put that into perspective. perspective. Because yeah. Maybe it's, it looks like it maybe is, but when you think about the livable wage yes, and then the actual salary. minimum salary, salary yeah. do not line up. They're not. No. Yeah. No, the amount of money that a, a first-year lawyer might make in, in Vancouver compared to Toronto is astronomically different. Yes, but, and I said that was the last thing I was going to say, but this, the next, because the next paragraph is quite interesting. This is the last thing I'll say. Um, featuring uh, prominently in the Global Peace Index as one of the safest places to live. See, these things, they're very, these things are true, like knock on wood. Yeah, no, that's true. And boasting low unemployment rates alongside a high amount of immigration options. It's arguably no surprise that Canada is head and shoulders above the rest of the world. So, but that I do agree with. Yes. So it's um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Great white north. What's up? Yeah, that's exactly what they how they put us as well. Yeah. Us. So, um, yeah. This was a this was a special episode on a weekend because we don't typically do recordings on weekends. We started to do uh, in the beginning on Sunday nights and then realized that meh, nah. Meh, nah, <laughs> not happening. So um, so my little mensch on the shelf, AKA on my shoulder. <laughs> Got a mensch on my shoulder. Don't know that song, I just made it up. Um, in the show notes, I'll put where you can purchase this lovely dude and his um, friends or his family members and you can learn and you can learn more about uh neil and how he started on the website he was actually on shark tank um a few times i think perhaps that's what i read and on the today show like he's you know he made a made a name for himself with this guy so that's great yeah that's great and yeah. you know maybe we'll have neil on the show in the future when it's when we can 100 percent. it was more so, trying to squeeze it in before hanukkah but exactly but the mesh on the bench and the mesh on the head is and the shoulder. The mesh on the blank is just adorable, super yeah. adorable. Yeah, I'm just having fun with him. I know, so, totally. Um, yeah. See, even a 37 year old, like, how old am I? Can have fun with this guy, right? See, I bought it for myself, <laughs> <laughs> and I bought one for my nephew as well with the book. But I bought him for myself, like. Come and on. also, I'm sure he could be the perfect relationship counselor too, or the relationship mediator. Oh, yes. So when it's like, hey, hey, let's see what the match on the bench has to say. Hold on a second. Cause, yeah, because my well, my husband and I, we don't we don't have grandparents left on either side. That's sad that generation is gone. So like, you know, that kind of advice we don't really get anymore. So maybe I'll get it from my bench. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh -huh. Well, well, my friend, anything else? that you need to get off your chesticle? Um, let's see. Mm, oh, okay. They're perky today. Um, you said chesticle, so I'm going to yeah. give you chesticle. I, I, I walked into that. Um, thank you. Um, but I wouldn't mind if you walked into me. That'd be nice for freaking COVID times. But yes, yeah, so um, stay tuned. Again, not just talking your ear off. We do have a lot of exciting guests that are coming on the show. Again, as per, as per usual, if you are listening or know people that would be interested, 
even if you're not interested in podcasts or anything related and we would not be offended, then please send your friends, family, coworkers, anything that would be relevant to them. Share on any social platform, even LinkedIn. And please feel welcome to um, reach out to us if you have any questions oh, yeah. and any ideas for us that maybe we can provide. <laughs> See, we don't bite. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't bite at all. I'm very sassy, you know, tell you right up how I feel. Clearly, if you haven't watched the show, then you don't know that yet. But yes, we will. <laughs> we're here to support you and we're here to be here for the people. And uh, there's a lot of podcasts out there, but you know, there are. Only, I know, but there's only one of either either of us and um, we're killing it. So we got to be your own cheerleaders and we want you along for the ride. So come join us. Well said. Well said. On that note, that's a good note to leave it. Um, mm. Heroes going off to work. Yeah, going off to work. Yes, his non-livable wage job. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I might, on the Sunday, don't have a lot going on, but I might edit this episode and release it all to y'all. Maybe you can go for a little um, hike in the ferns behind you. Oh, the fir- those are cedars. How are those ferns? What the hell am I supposed to know? In the in the bushes behind you. Bushes. Maybe I'll take him with me though. Take your mention your bushes into the bush. Maybe I'll take him with me and I'll take some photos. Yes. Do a little photo shoot of Mench exploring Vernon. Photo shoot. What is wrong with my words? You know what it is? It's when you have, I don't know if anyone can attest to this, when you have something over your ears and you're muffled, it's almost like you have trouble. Yeah, Same. trouble hearing and also yeah, and, the and slight delay between hearing and listening. Exactly. So that's my excuse. Thank All you right. for joining us. Um, have a beautiful day or a night or middle of the night or morning or whenever you're listening to this or watching this. Just have a gorgeous everything. And, and. Oi, don't forget. Happy Hanukkah from the bench on a bench. <laughs>